One minute ultrasound for diastolic function. We'll need the apical four chamber window, so I'll place the patient in the left lateral decubitus position. The probe will be at the patient's PMI, with the marker pointed towards the patient's axilla or towards the bed. This gives me the apical four chamber window. I need the pulse wave at the mitral valve and the tissue Doppler of the mitral annulus from this particular view. We'll start by hitting the PW button and I'll place the gate just at the tips of the mitral valve leaflets. This will give me an E and an A wave for each diastolic filling period. E corresponds to early filling and A corresponds to the atrial contraction. Typically the E should be twice the size of the A. I can measure the E wave and I would expect it to be less than 100 centimeters per second. This is a normal filling pattern. Next I'll want to get the TDI of the mitral valve, so I'll move the pulse wave gate over to the mitral annulus and hit PW again. I'll need to adjust the scale to about 20 centimeters per second. I'll also need to adjust the baseline up so that I'm looking at the negative portion of the scale. Finally, I'll want to reduce the gain. In this case, E prime is greater than 10 centimeters per second, which is normal because anything less than 8 centimeters per second suggests diastolic dysfunction.